So today I'm gonna to be showing you how to connect up the ozone laundry purification system. And what this does is this either eliminates or mitigates the amount of laundry detergent and other chemicals that you need to use. It's not perfect, so if you have stains and things like that, you might still need to use a stain remover. So I have two different units here today. This is the one I'm gonna be showing you. This is our commercial laundry unit, or it's just a bigger ozone purification system. So that's really good if you're doing a lot of laundry or you just want something really strong. This is gonna work for most households. As far as the materials that you're gonna need to set this up, there's a few things here. There's some tools of my own and then the components that come with it. The components that come with it include these adapters. So depending on the size of tubing that comes with your laundry machine, you might need to use these adapters. You have the wall anchors and the screws. This is what is gonna hold the machine up. This is the bracket that goes to the wall that you screw into the wall and then put the machine onto. This is a piece of tubing. Um, so essentially you're gonna take the cold water out of the back of the machine here, the intake for that, hook it up to this machine here, and then you're gonna connect this tubing back to where the cold water was. So rather than the cold water going straight from the plumbing into the machine, it's now gonna be routed through here, create ozone, and then go into the laundry machine. Um, with the unit also comes a screwdriver and a instruction user's manual here. But there's some tools you're gonna to need on top of that as well. So I have a drill. Um, you either need a tape measure or a level. Then I have a pliers just to help with getting the tubing off. And then you're gonna need a drill bit to put the hole in the wall for the screws. One real quick comment on this is that in order to get the ozone purification system to work is it does need to route through cold water. If you're using hot water, it's not gonna route through the ozone purification system and heat dismantles ozone pretty quickly. So that's why we use the cold water instead. The first thing I'm gonna do right now is put the mounting bracket onto the wall. So how this works is this goes onto the wall and then this unit just sits right on top of that. So that's how the mounting bracket works. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do. So you're gonna wanna, first of all, make sure it's you know in the ballpark of where you want it to be. You can use your measuring tape if you want to be exact. And then I'm gonna take my drill, put in my drill bit. I'm just gonna set the bracket on the wall, drill the holes. Um, and that's how I'm gonna set it. So if you wanna use a measuring tape, what you would do is you would put the bracket on the wall approximately where you want it to go. Then you will measure from uh, either the floor, the ceiling, the sidewall, whatever you want, um, just to make sure that it's level and in the position that you want it to be. Uh, I'm kind of lazy, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my level and set it right underneath. On this middle one here, I hit a stud. So in that instance that you hit a stud, which is the wood behind the wall, you don't put a drywall anchor in, which is this plastic piece here. You don't have to put one of these in because the wood behind the wall will just hold one of these. You could have also done that just by marking the holes with a pencil and then drilling. Uh, that's definitely easier than holding up the bracket and drilling at the same time. All right, so I'm pushing in my wall anchor. You might need something to pound it in a little bit. You just don't want to pound it very strong. Now I'm going to use either a bit on your gun like this, or you can use the screwdriver. Since I have a drill here with a bit anyway, I'm just going to use that. And then we're going to put the bracket up against the holes and screw those in. All right, so the bracket's set and your machine should be able to just sit right on that bracket. So now that we have the machine up, the next step is to connect up the tubing. So you're gonna need to pull the washing machine out from the wall. I'm gonna pull it out as far as I can, just so I can show you guys, but you might not need much space. It just depends on where your tubing is on the back side of this. One thing before you make any disconnections, you wanna make sure you turn your water line off, which is right back here in the plumbing. You're just gonna flip down the handle or however you turn your water off in the back. Since I'm just doing the cold water line, I don't need to flip off both. You can if you want to. However, I'm still gonna need a bucket because some water is gonna drain out of this tubing. I'm gonna unscrew it here. And then allow that to 
drain into the bucket. Now that I got the tubing undone, I probably should have done this before. Um, check to see if you need this adapter. Um, so you would know if you need this adapter if on this uh, male side of the adapter, if it screws into here and it fits, that means you need to put this adapter on. So I'm gonna take this adapter here and just screw it in like this. And then you just want to tighten a little bit past hand tightening. You don't want to really wrench on it. So I'm just using a pliers. You can use a wrench or whatever seems most fitting to you. So just a little bit of a turn past hand tight should work just fine. So on the underside of this machine, you'll notice one says outlet. That is the piece that goes into the laundry unit. Inlet is the piece that comes from the wall into the ozone unit. So I'm going to take my tubing from the wall and put it into the inlet of the ozone machine. If it's leaking, it means you're either missing some of the rubber O-rings in there or it was not connected up properly. So I'm going to, again, just barely tighten past finger tighten. And then I'm going to take the tubing that came with my machine and connect it to the other side, which is the outlet. And then we take the other end of the tubing coming from the outlet of the ozone machine and put it into the back of the laundry machine here. Again, make sure that you're just using the cold tubing. Over here, you can see the hot. You do not want to connect it up to the hot. Uh, it's not going to damage anything. Your ozone just won't work. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check for leaks. So I'm going to turn the water back on. So it did leak a little bit on this uh, tubing that was connected into the machine. So this gasket needs to be replaced. So you might need a new rubber hose gasket. You can either pull this out, put this one in, or you can just put this one right on top of the other one. I took the plastic fitting off of the ozone machine and I'm just tightening it a little bit more because this metal piece just doesn't quite go over it like the piece that comes with the unit. So I'm just going to tighten this a little bit more than I would have otherwise and I have two pliers here um, doing that. But again, you do have to be cautious of over tightening. You don't want to over tighten this. So now that it's all connected up and I put the new gasket on, uh, I'm going to turn the water on again, make sure there's no leaking. So there's no noticeable leaking from here, 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 or here. There is some dripping down, but that's because this old gasket sprayed some water. So the machine is pretty much set up now. The last thing you need to do is plug it in. So usually your machine will look like this, where there's nothing happening on the display. You don't need to do anything. When your laundry unit is pulling cold water, it's automatically going to turn this on and automatically going to create ozone going into the water into your machine. This disinfect button, you'll notice it turns O3 on, O3 off. There's always UV running, but just make sure that it's switched to O3 on. And that's how you set this up.